Hi, this is Chris from Revenge Performance. I've been wanting to do this video about installing a new shift shaft seal in a 6-speed 3000 GT for a little while now, and today we had a customer with some uh, questions, and so we just wanted to go ahead and take care of that. So basically, your shaft seal here is what keeps fluid from kind of coming up out of the transmission and leaking out of here. And although it looks pretty bit or pretty small and it looks really high up on the transmission, they still can leak quite a bit. So what you'll have when you buy a shift shaft seal from us is this tiny little seal here that is just like OEM. It has your little dust bulge. It's made in Germany. It's a high quality seal. Once you have the tower assembly outside the transmission, uh, there are three detents you take out to get this out. There is the reverse can on top, 24 millimeter. There is the small one below that that is, has a 13 millimeter head. And then there's one underneath there that is 22 millimeter head. Then you'll just take these four bolts out. You'll take the side to side bracket out of the way and just give this a couple of sharp yanks and you can usually pull them out. Once that's out, you're gonna have to take these arms off. And this can be kind of difficult. I'm gonna show you how we do this, which we use a air hammer with a punch adapter on it, but you can do this by hand. Just be prepared to fight it and possibly have to heat up the cast iron part particularly. So what I like to do is we'll put the cast iron part in, your, in a secure vise. If you have soft jaws, that's even better. Just tighten that down. This is an air hammer with a punch. Um, you can use a regular punch if that's all you have and a hammer, no problem. We want to do this lower one first because this is what's actually holding this into the vise right now, right? So we just go on there. That looked incredibly simple, but trust me, if you're hitting on it by hand, that's gonna be a lot harder. So now we'll do this one. Uh, we typically replace the roll pens. It's a six millimeter roll pen uh, by 30 millimeter long. Uh, we do sell those on a site for a couple dollars too if you need those. Um, if you don't, you know, shoot them across the room, you can find them. Just put a little Loctite on them when you put them back. So now we want to take this shaft out. These can be pretty seized up. Uh, we're fortunate this one's not, but some penetrating fluid and a little heat can go a long way. You just take this off. Note the orientation for reassembly. These lugs face the rear of the transmission, as in the car. This would actually contact your shift uh, rails. And this needs to go that way. Same thing with this thing. It's possible to install this 180 out, and then you're not gonna be able to shift. So just watch out for that. Take this off. Take this plate off. We typically will polish these up in a lathe, uh, but unless yours gouged up pretty bad, shouldn't be needed. Now we have this seal in here. This one's all really, really, really hard. It's just like a rock. That would have definitely leaked. Um, you can put a little screwdriver in there, pry that out, seal puller, whatever you got. But I find it's safer for the seat, for the bearing in there to actually just tap the bearing through and have that shove everything out. So we just kind of put this in a vise or any kind of open spot. Uh, you can take a 14 or a 15 millimeter socket, depending on what fits the best for you. I think that's going to be a little big. That was a 15. Depending on the wall thickness, your, your, you know, your miles are going to vary on that, but just pick one that fits and doesn't hit the actual housing. Seal fell on the floor. You can see here now this bearing is quite proud. We'll just stick it back here. Drive it until it contacts the bottom, flat surface here. Grease this when you put that together. I have a little bit of transmission fluid on my finger here, but you can use assembly lubricant or whatever you have handy, even motor oil is fine. We'll take our new seal, a little grease on it. Put that here. I think a 15 is gonna work a little better to put this seal in, but just anything that doesn't mash the inside of the seal. And that's it. So we are going to polish this on the lathe, so I won't do a reassembly now, but it's exactly the same as reverse. You stick that together, you put your arms and your roll pins in, put this back in the transmission. I hope that's been really helpful. Um, this is a source of major leaks on these units. It's one of the things that separates our rebuilds from just if you have a uh, someone do it that doesn't know about these little bit of things sometimes. 
is uh, we try to replace all these things like this and the speedometer sensor and stuff like that. Uh, so just keep an eye out on that. Uh, if you need this part, you know, let us know. I think it's like $13, so it's not real expensive. Uh, and, you know, any shop that's going through your transmission should be able to replace this once they're aware that that's there. So, this is Chris Banking again. Let us know how we can get some revenge on your ride.